Hey guys, welcome to Technability. I'm Barrage, and what we're going to go ahead and do here today is discuss how to tether your Android phone on T-Mobile without a tether plan. Um, now, if you're aware of uh, how T-Mobile goes about tethering, if you don't have a tethering plan, uh, you'll basically get that T-Mobile uh, screen of death. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me just go ahead and show you here. So basically, it's that screen that says you do not have access to hotspot, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and that's what you get right there, right? So the smartphone hotspot. Turn your smartphone into a hotspot error. Now, a lot of people, uh, you know, will tell you that they don't receive that error. But I've gone through that before where you may, you know, go a good week or two or sometimes even months without them catching on. But eventually they will find out and they'll disable it. Uh, but there is a solution to this. Uh, very, very simple solution. Takes a few steps, a little persistence, but you could do it. Uh, if you're on T-Mobile and you want to tether your phone and use it as your day-to-day -day internet. And this works with LTE as well, T-Mobile's LTE. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your phone is rooted. So it doesn't matter which Android phone you're using, make sure that it's rooted. Obviously when you go to settings here in Android, you can see that you have the uh, tethering option here, tethering and portable hotspot. Uh, you're going to avoid that altogether. You're not going to use it, okay? And Basically, this kind of utilizes the tethering of your phone, but in a different way. So first thing you want to do is download an app called Wi-Fi Tether. All right, Wi-Fi Tether is no longer available in the Play Store. So what I'll do is I'll post a link below uh, to my website, which will give you the link to where to download Wi-Fi Tether. Uh, while you're at it, make sure after you're rooted, again, make sure your phone's rooted. Go to security. Make sure uh, unknown sources is checked off because you're going to download the app. Uh, you're going to sideload the app through a third-party site. All right, second thing you're going to want to do it, or the third thing you're going to want to do actually is download Chrome browser if you're not already using it. Now that's kind of a stretch and a lot of people use Chrome these days so if you're already using Chrome skip that step. Alright afterwards what you're going to want to do is download user agent switcher in Chrome. Okay and let me show you how that's done. So once you're in Chrome right, go right here to where it says um, go right here to where it says tools in the settings bar up top. Okay and when you're in tools go to extensions right there scroll down to get more extensions click on that and then go ahead and search for user agent switcher 2.0 okay so you're going to type that in search the store uh, you can either do it that way I'm going to make it easier for you guys just click on the link below it'll take you directly to the user agent string so you could either do it through the toolbar or you could just download uh, or you could just click on the link and download it directly through uh, the link below. So after you've downloaded the user agent string, um, go ahead and go back to the extensions and make sure you enable it. Okay, so basically go back to the settings, go back to tools, click on extensions, and then just enable user agent switcher 2.0. Okay, and once that's enabled, um, here's your next step. So what you're going to want to do is click on this little guy right here and enable Googlebot, okay? Make sure Googlebot's enabled. All right, now once you have Googlebot enabled, what you're going to want to do is go back to your phone and open Wi-Fi Tether, okay? Open Wi-Fi Tether. Let's just go ahead and stop this here. All right, so this is what you're going to see when you first open it. Click on it. It's going to say Start Tethering. So now you're tethering, okay? And when you connect through your computer, through your Wi-Fi, it should show up as Android Tether. Go ahead and connect to it through your computer. Uh, now go back to Chrome and uh, start web browsing. That's basically all there is to it. As long as you have uh, Google Bot, Google Spider enabled through User Agent Switcher, and you see the little sunglasses on the guy up by the Settings tab, then you should be able to tether. Now, uh, just keep this in mind, guys. If you close out of the browser and you open a new uh, window, you're going to have to re-enable it. If you're just switching through tabs, uh, you do not have to continuously re-enable uh, the user agent string. So keep that in mind. Also keep this in mind. If your uh, mobile data limit is checked off, if you have a cap, uh, I understand it's likely you're keeping track. But if your limit is set below your monthly data cap, it may affect the tethering when it reaches that limit. So keep that in mind. You may want to just disable it whenever you're tethering. Go ahead and re-enable it when you're not. 
Uh, so just to go through these steps again real quick, make sure your phone is rooted, download Wi-Fi Tether okay, for root. Again, I'll post the link below. Uh, if you don't have Chrome browser, download it. In Chrome, make sure that you download User Agent uh, Switcher 2.0. Again, I'll post the link below so you can just download it directly. Uh, go back to the extensions and enable User Agent Switcher. Okay. Uh, once enabled, make sure that you check off Google Bot (parentheses Google Spider). Head back to your phone, open Wi-Fi Tether, uh, and again make sure uh, you grant super user access when you do open Wi-Fi Tether. And then click on the big Wi-Fi icon. And then at that point, uh, go ahead and connect through your uh, connect to the Wi-Fi network through your computer. Go back to Chrome and start web browsing. I'll give you guys a better step-by-step -step below uh, that directs, directly links you to my site where you'll find a uh, instructional. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, again, don't hesitate to ask. I'm Bears' Technability. Go ahead and check out www.technability.com. Thank you. Have a nice day.